everybody with the holidays right around the corner today we want to show you something different with your sweet potatoes stuffed sweet potato cups honey so what we've been doing is we have already cut uh, we finished two sweet potatoes already I'm on my third one here and I've been using the grooves on our grooved cutting board our um, yeah, be careful I know these knives y'all are no joke but yeah. we love 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 our pampered chef coated knives they are yes. incredible so we've already done we ended up doing three now if you were you know going to use these as maybe um appetizer for a party we're having of course you can make more but we're just going to do one sheet pan mm -hmm. and it says the recipe says you certainly can use your stone bar pan for these which would be wonderful or we love our you know sheet pans they're so sturdy so non-stick and all I've had to do at this point was to go ahead and put uh, just put a little grease at the bottom and then I put a little oil using our chef's basting brush yeah. on each one we've already preheated the oven at 425 and they're gonna go in for about uh, I think 45 minutes it said and really what we wanted to do is we just wanted to get cooked softened up and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna actually use our little cute scoop and loop yep you know we use this to clean out the pumpkins in the fall I use it to clean out our peppers all the time um, we're gonna clean out our sweet potato Okay, yep. so we're going to show you how to do that. Once we clean that out, we're going to actually make our own sweet potato mix. It says kind of make how you like it. We're going to make it with some wonderful maple syrup. Go throw a little butter in there, and mm. we're going to end up using some pecans. Oh, I love pecans. I know. I know you're not the biggest sweet potato fan, honey. We got you eating sweet potato fries, and oh, yeah. I do believe you're going to love these sweet potato stuff cups. I think so, I am. <laughs> we'll see. All right, we'll be back after a while. Bye. All right, pull those out of the oven. Don't those look caramelized and delicious? Going to let them cool just a couple minutes because again, I've got to use that scoop loop to get in there. I'm going to let them cool down just a little bit. All right, so we've got two more left to scoop. See how easy the scoop loop makes this, honey? Look oh, at that. It does make it really easy. Look at that. That's I awesome. Put a little butter in the bottom of my batter bowl here. And when you're doing these, the key is you don't want to clean all of it out. Um, you want to keep enough just around the edges so that you do have a sturdy cup. Because you want that cup to, you know, hold together when you're, you know, if you are going to use it as an appetizer. Nice. So the scoop loop worked perfect. So what I'm going to do, honey, is I already, like I said, I already put some butter at the bottom that's been melting since okay. the filling is a little warm. I'm gonna go ahead and put some nice maple syrup in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I'm not measuring anything. I'm just kind of eyeballing. Put, we, got, gotta give a shout out to this Paula Miller from Canada. Uh, That's yeah. The DR. All well, all of our friends in Canada. We yeah, have, we have a lot of Canada. Canadian friends actually. All right, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that special strength cinnamon we have. Yeah. And you know I can never say that. Me neither. Corinji, <laughs> Corinji, I think. Yeah, let's just call but it But this just comes out at the holiday season every year. So if you don't have it, you need to grab it because yep. it will be gone. And then the photo of the recipe has like full of, like a, you know, whole pe pecan sitting at the top. We have chopped already. Yeah. So I'm just going to actually throw some in here and mix them all together, honey. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. And again, I'm just eyeballing. I have yeah. no idea how this is going to turn out. It's our first time. And I figured, hey, why don't we use our mix and chop? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Just to kind of get that butter mixed in. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. I think I, I think I eyeballed it pretty good. I think, I think the maple syrup is kind of making it creamy you can enough. Add more syrup to it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I could. I bet I could, sugar. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love that syrup. I bet I could, sugar. Especially the maple syrup. Oh my god, it's so good. Alright, but remember this is supposed to be a side order, like you know, like a vegetable, yeah. not like your dessert. Yeah. Or like an appetizer. Or, or an appetizer, yeah, honey. A little appetizer. Alright, let me clean some of this off because I don't want to waste. And now what we're going to do for this final step is I'm going to actually use my small scoop because yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. I might have to put a couple scoops in, and the potatoes are different sizes too. So instead of going with my larger scoop, there you go. I'm going to go with that medium and that's going to have a good mix of all those little ingredients. And I'm going to stuff that cup back up Yeah. and we're going to put it back in the oven just long enough for uh, to kind of, you know, marinate those flavors in a little bit Sure. because it's really cooked at this point. I mean, I could feel even when I was um, 
taken them out that you know the sides are nice and done you know i like those side mm -hmm. the skin nice and soft because we always want to eat that skin honey yep that's where all your that's where all the vitamins are you and got stuff. that right honey. all the nutrients and all that all right let's see i might be, be being a little generous of my filling so let me make sure i got enough for all of them yeah, you might have to steal from one to i know i might have to Still from Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, I think one's, look, one's good looking pretty decent. Yeah, most of them. I'm gonna, yeah. But how cute would these be? Just for something different for the holiday. Yeah. Instead of just having that, you know, sweet potato on the side of the plate there mm -hmm. or whatever. I just thought it was a cute idea when I saw it to use as an appetizer or just a side dish like we're gonna use it tonight. We're just gonna eat it with our supper. All right, I think I'm going to have to get my good old friend the spatula out, honey. Yep. And get in there and make sure I get all of this because I'm getting a little low. And with a little spatula, you can get it all out. Oh, yeah. That'll make sure we get it. Clean that right out. There you go. I think I'm still going to have to steal from one, but... Yeah, I think this one in the corner right here can give up some. Yeah, I'll steal from that one. Yeah. It looks pretty full. Yeah, you could probably just well, like you cut said, the top off right there. There you go. That's our little test kitchen, nice. like you said. Perfect. I'm going to steal a little from this one. Too. Yeah, that one looks pretty full, too. Yeah. There you go. All right. What do you think? Look, it looks good. A little bit. Yeah. And this one? We can always add some syrup. <laughs> I don't think the syrup is going to fill it up, honey. You want me to fill it up with syrup? <laughs> I love my syrup. <laughs> All right, honey. So while that was cooking, you know when I have the oven on, I always love to, you know, I'm cheap on electricity. Yeah. You know, I wish we sometimes we were Amish. So, Multitask. So I got a little busy while you were gone. You yeah. went to the CVS. Yep. And guess what I made you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at these. Oh, man, those look incredible. Wow. Hot, hot, hot sizzling. Woo! Look at that. That's your breakfast for the week, honey. Oh, man, that looks That's awesome, egg baby. patatas covered with cheddar it. cheese. I love it. All right, these are, going, these are in. going in. Again, not really to cook, but just to, you know, warm up a little bit. All, All right, right, we'll, we'll see be back. All right, there's the finished product. I think they're cute. Let's All right, it. honey, serve yourself up one, and Hello. you're our official taste tester. Well, let's see, which one do I want? <laughs> Let me try this one. Look at that. All right, beautiful. Nice little cup. Yeah. Tell you what, man, there's some talented people out there that come up with these ideas. Yeah, because we don't come up with any of these recipes, y'all. Yeah. I find right. them, print them, and I'm, I'm then first, we do them. I'm first going to scoop some out of the out of the middle. I know you want me to eat the skin and everything. Oh, yeah, you got to eat the skin. Let me eat the middle first. You got to eat that skin for those vitamins. There we go. Oh, wow, that's nice. And you're not a huge uh, sweet potato lover. Like I said, I've got you eating sweet potato fries now. It reminds me of eating like a little bit of pumpkin pie. That cinnamon threw you off probably to make you think you're eating something like a dessert when you're yeah, not. Of course, nice. your maple syrup. Okay, here's the part with the skin. I'm going to be a good boy and eat the skin. Yes. Oh, I love those pecans in there too. Mm. So the skin is nice and soft. It baked, you know, it's, you know. It's nice. It's actually like a little bit of crispiness on the bottom, too. Mm-hmm. That's nice. And I forgot to tell everybody, as soon as I put them in the oven, I had second thoughts about putting some pecans on the top, too. So that's why you see now that I went back in real quick and threw some in I'm there so they it. could bake. Well, that's good. That's a good sign, honey. Anytime I can get a vegetable in you, it's a good day. <laughs> Delicious. All, All right. right. Well, it looks like he's continuing to eat it, so that's a good thing, y'all. Mm -hmm. He's digging in. <laughs>